To balance this reaction, barium chloride plus aluminum sulfate yields barium sulfate plus aluminum chloride. I've written down the elements already that are in this equation, and let's add up how many we have of each. Barium, we have one, chlorine two, aluminum two, and then instead of writing the sulfur and the oxygen separate, I've written them together as a sulfate because I see I have this sulfate here and I have a sulfate there. That'll make this a lot easier to balance. I have three of these sulfate, these SO4, right here. So I'm going to put a three here. Over on the products, one barium sulfates. I have one of those chlorines, three, and then aluminum, one. So I want to get everything to be equal here. It looks like because I have two aluminums here and one aluminum there, it might be easy to start out and put a two here and then update things on this side. So now for aluminums, I have one times the two, I have two of those, and then the chlorines, I have this three here times the two. That gives me six chlorines. That fixes the aluminums. Now the chlorines are off, but that's okay because I could put a three in front of the barium chloride and update this. So I have one times the three, three barium chlorides, and then the two times the three for the chlorines, six chlorines. So now the chlorines are fine. The aluminums are fine. Let's try to fix the barium. So I have three here and one here. I'm just going to put a three and then update everything here. So one times three, that gives me three bariums. Those are fine. And then this sulfate, I have three of those. So I consider I have one here times the three, three of those. And sort of magically, everything works out and the equation is balanced. The trick is, if you see a polyatomic ion like SO4, the sulfate ion, and it's on both sides, just consider it to be one item. That will make the balancing quite a bit easier. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for BaCl2 plus Al2SO43 yields BaSO4 plus AlCl3. Thanks for watching.